even is Esperanto? Esperanto is both a conlang, that's a constructed language, and an auxlan, an auxiliary or bridging language. Esperanto was designed over 130 years ago by a very clever man called Zamenhof with the specific intent of aiding peaceful communication between people who don't speak each other's language. Esperanto is meant to be as easy as possible for everyone to learn, no matter what their own native language is. Esperanto deliberately takes care to avoid dialects or regional differences, etc. And because it's nobody's national language, nobody has an automatic advantage when they speak it so everybody can feel comfortable and at home when they use it. As languages go, Esperanto is said to be the easiest to learn from scratch. Lots of people say it takes them only about a quarter of the time it takes to learn any other language. And since language learning is known to be good for your brain, particularly as you get older, that's a real benefit. One of the reasons for the ease and speed of learning Esperanto is that Esperanto is so regular. It has a system of easily understood rules that are universal. So once you've understood where and how they apply, that's it. You don't have to learn a massively long list of exceptions to the rule. For example, all singular nouns end with O. Tablo, gato, infano. All singular adjectives end in A. Blua, granda, bella. All adverbs end in E. Silente, rapide. And the endings of the verb give you the tense. And it never changes, no matter who you are talking to or about. The endings are as for the present tense. Mi manjas, I'm eating. Ni manjas, we are eating. Is, that's for the past tense. Li ludis, he was playing. Vi ludis, you were playing. And os, for the future tense. Ili legos, they will read. Mi legos, I am going to read. So there, in a few seconds, I just taught you as much Esperanto grammar as it might have taken 15 weeks to learn in French or Russian or Chinese. And that's a pretty big advantage in the language learning states. So let's try it out. Esperanto estas bella lingua. Esperanto is a beautiful language. La hundo estis bruna. The dog was brown. La cato ludos silente. The cat will play quietly. Did you understand that? If you're good at languages and you want to learn another one, why not try the most international one there is? If you're not good at languages, why not try the easiest one there is? If you're interested in linguistic equality, why not learn the one deliberately designed to be as equal as possible? Basically, why not learn Esperanto? You can find courses on the internet, Modern Teach Yourself books are readily available in bookstores. And there's even an Esperanto for English speakers course on Duolingo. It's free and it's fun. Why not give it a go?